read this story a little bit a little while ago. So I'm going to kind of open up and just kind of skim through so we can kind of remember what that story Aisha makes work easier about. Well, who can kind of refresh my memory? Does anybody remember and who can summarize what happened in the story we read? Aisha makes work easier. Zaire, can you can you summarize it a little bit? I I remember it was at a factory. They we're looking at different types of simple machines. Very good. Who's Day? Aisha. Uh huh. And who else was with her? Do you remember? Do you remember who it was, Monique? Aisha, her friend, and her big brother. Very good. Very good. And and what type of engineer was her big brother when they went to this factory where they saw all these simple machines? Quanisha, do you remember? Industrial. Industrial engineer. What's an industrial engineer? Cassidy. They help. They help make things easier. That's true. They help make things easier. How do they? Can someone add maybe to that? Sharice, can you add to that a little bit? Uh, uh, also in the story, they were at this theater. I think it was a theater, and you know how you have to pull the ropes to get the curtain to open. They made a simple machine. Her brother and his friends and his factory workers made a simple machine that uh, would be easier to make the rope up. So, curtain open without uh, having to pull the rope. Very good. And what's that What's that simple machine called that helps the, the pulley? Very good. As part of the stage rigging, right? That's what they said made it. Made it All right. What I want to do is I want to look at this last chapter, chapter seven, second to last chapter when we talked about it, because I want to see how Aisha used this engineering design process that we just talked about, how she used it to create their own little project. Remember they had to do a project and they had to create their own little subsystem, right? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of really quickly read this and we wanna fill out this, this worksheet real quick. So let me go ahead and start. At home that afternoon, Tanya and Aisha talked about how to present their project in class. We could write about it, said Tanya, but I'd rather just take everybody in our class to the factory. What if we bring the factory to the class, Aisha asked. We could design our own subsystem just like they have at the factory and show it to our class. That's a great idea, said Tanya. We can pretend a truck drops off potatoes on the floor. If you have to keep reaching down the floor so you can cook them, that will hurt your back. We can design a simple machine subsystem to lift the potatoes up. Let's get Malcolm to help us, said Aisha. Are you all starting to remember this a little bit? Yeah, okay. The girls ran to find Malcolm and tell him their idea. Malcolm helps the girls gather wooden dowels, tubes, and long sheets of cardboard. Okay, now what? Tanya asked. But Aisha had already started pulling materials out of the box and putting things together. Just dive in and start building stuff, she cried. Do you think that was the best way? No. No, definitely not. All right, Malcolm interrupted. Aisha, that's one way to get things done, but engineers usually make a plan first. It can be really helpful. But how am I supposed to know what to plan, asked Aisha. I figure things out as I go along. Sometimes engineers do that, explained Malcolm, but we have steps to help us too, to be sure that we know what materials we'll need and how they'll fit together. It's all part of the engineering design process. What's that, asked Tanya. It's a system, a way of doing things, step by step, said Malcolm. You've already started asking some good questions to get yourself started. Next, you need to imagine some solutions and then plan it out. You may even want to draw out your plan. Aisha frowned. I can definitely imagine lots of things, but planning is no fun. Come on, Aisha, Tanya said. We'll do it together. Aisha and Tanya sat down on the floor and began sketching. They questioned, compromised, and built on one another's ideas until they had a plan that they thought would work. I think we're ready to go, Tanya told Malcolm. Let's take a look at your plan, Malcolm said. So, so far, looking at our worksheet, how did Aisha complete this step? Raise your hand and tell me. Abraham, how did Aisha complete the ask step? She asked her big brother for help. Good. She asked her big brother for help. What else did they ask about? What about the whole factory subsystem? Did they ask questions about that? Yeah. How, like, how do we make our um, Very machine? good. Uh, yeah, they asked, how, how am I going to make this? What am I going to do with this? Very, very good. So we want to put that in. Okay. How about the imagine? The imagine part. Therese. Aisha and Tanya, they imagined what their simple machine was going to look like for them. Their, sub, their subsystem, right? Very good. Oh, okay. When you imagine, when you brainstorm, right, when you think about all these things, do you only think of one idea and just stick to that one idea? No. Yeah. Raise your hand and tell me, what happens if you're imagining? What happens? What happens? Beyonce, do you remember? 
like, say if you were in a group, like, uh -huh. all of you are not going to have the same idea. So, if, like, we can share our ideas and then maybe we can put them together and brainstorm. Very good. That's I, I like that you said that, too, because... Part of engineers is they work together, don't they? They're always in teams or partners at least. All right, what about the plan part? I think we had just gotten to their plan, hadn't we, in the story that we started to review? So what happened with the plan part? Yes. Uh, Aisha looking for materials. Aisha and Tanya looking for materials. What did Aisha first start to do? Just build stuff. <laughs> just open that box up and she started pulling all those materials out and said, come on, let's go, let's get started, right? How many of you have ever done that before? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then what happened, Myra? And then um, her brother confronted her and told her that she needed to make a plan for her. Right, right. And that's when he told him about the what? Engineering design plan. Very good. Okay, so their plan, right, that's what her and Tanya started to do. So they, what did they do when they, they started to what? They started to, dash one? Sketch their plan. Very good. Malcolm looked at the girls. It looks like it's time for the last step of the engineering design process. What is that, guys? Improve. There you go. Do you think another simple machine might do the job better? Well, said Tanya, we could use an inclined plane like the one we saw at the factory. Him a big hug. Okay? So, looking at the create part now. Okay, the create part. What did they, what did they do in this part for, from uh, the simple machine? Smart? Oh, first they made a... Um, well, okay, you're gonna you're getting very specific. So just tell me overall. Um, some some of that for me. Something. The first time they made something, they didn't work. They so they built, right? They made their subsystem. That's all we need to say, right? So they built their subsystem. And then, what about the improved part? What about the improved part? Okay. Yes. The, the materials were falling off the subsystem, so they had they had to add like some walls to keep the materials from falling. Good. So they actually didn't add sides. What did they decide to to add to to pull up that inclined plane? A pulley. Uh, not a pulley. Good try. Inclined plane. No, it was the the potatoes were falling Wheel off. Wheel and axle. Wheel and axle for a little cart, right? Very good. A little cart. So the potatoes, right, after testing, right, so the potatoes fell off the inclined plane. So they added a cart to carry the potatoes. My name is Anton Jack. I teach fifth grade at Rachel Freeman Elementary School of Engineering. Um, we are in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I've been teaching here. This is my fourth year teaching at school with the engineering program. For the Simple Machines kit, the story of Aisha making work easier with the Simple Machines, um, the story really helps introduce the vocabulary that they're going to need to talk about each Simple Machine. It also shows them a real-life example for the different types of Simple Machines that they normally wouldn't either think is a Simple Machine or know that it's a Simple Machine doing that job. And a lot of our Simple Machines come together and make those compound machines that they can't see. Um, the, the different places and pieces working together. So the story really helps open their eyes to look at things differently and see how certain items are made and technology are made, like those simple machines, to make work easier for others. Mm -hmm.